The school shooting in Parkland, Florida was the catalyst for today's student led protests all across the country. Natasha Brown joins us now with a look at some of those national demonstrations. Natasha. Well, good evening to you. Thousands of students from all around the country participated in the national walkout today. One month to the day that 17 people lost their lives in the deadly school shooting in Parkland, Florida. The students made their presence and their voices heard from Capitol Hill to the site of the massacre. Students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, chanted MSD as they walked out of class Wednesday morning as part of a nationwide movement to remember the victims and protest gun violence. This can't happen again, and we're not going to stop until it doesn't happen again. We hear you! Nearby, parents showed their support for the walkout. This wasn't the way I wanted my son to become an activist, but... You know what? I'm, I'm so glad the kids have found their voices. This was supposed to be a 17 minute walkout, one minute for each victim. But many students here did not return to class afterward. Instead, they went to a nearby memorial to pay their respects to the 17 schoolmates and teachers they lost. Everything we do from now on is for them, for their voices to be heard. I don't know what I've been told. Yeah, no Across Florida and the entire nation, thousands of schools took part in the walkout. In Maplewood, Missouri, students lined up 17 empty chairs. Overall, only a small percentage of schools participated in the walkout. In Fort Wayne, Indiana, this school hosted a walk-in where students shared ideas of ways to stop the violence. At the end of the day, we want everybody to feel safe. And in Boston, where snow disrupted many protest plans, people still managed to get their point across. Well, Nicholas Cruz, the former student charged with killing 17 people at the Parkland, Florida High School, made an appearance in court today. He remained silent when asked about a plea in the courtroom. The judge entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. That is the very latest for now. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Natasha, thank you. In Maplewood, Missouri, students at Maplewood Richmond Heights High School gathered around 17 empty chairs representing the 17 students killed at Parkland High School one month ago. In Baltimore at Franklin High School, students raised awareness by marching out of class and observing the 17 minutes of silence. And in Kentucky, students at no middle school carried a sign, we stand with Parkland. In St. Louis, young men and women walked out of Webster Groves High School carrying signs and laying on the school steps, a symbolic protest of school gun violence. In Littleton, Colorado at Columbine High School, the scene of a mass shooting in 1999, they marched in solidarity with Parkland High School carrying red, white and blue balloons. One student with a microphone told students that nothing has changed since the Columbine shooting and enough is enough. Students in Little Rock, Arkansas also walked out of class today in support of the movement. Some carried signs saying hashtag never again and chanted books, not bullets. One student said school should be a safe place for all students to learn. We just want to end gun violence. We should come to school to learn and not to lose our lives. I come to school to learn math and science and to be better in life, not to lose my life and not to have to learn how to dodge bullets. The Little Rock students also took part in a balloon release in honor of the Parkland victims. These elementary school students in New York City today lent their voices to the movement. They stood in solidarity with the students taking part in the national walkout by singing Put a Little Love in Your Heart.